Hello, hello everybody, I'm Tristan with the Game Industry. Welcome back to my desktop. Today is the day everyone has been asking for a redo of the Zeta Omicron update video on how to install it. So I'm here on the Reddit page, which I will post in the comment section below, but it's also you can also pause the video here and see what the Reddit is. I am on the latest patch, which I'll go to the front page. This will be the front page you see. You can click on the newest patch. Pokemon ZS slash Omicron 1.3.27. In here, you're going to get the core downloads. For me, I'm going to get Omicron for the example. It's going to bring you to the media fire and you are going to download it. I will be right back. Actually, before we do that, while well, that's downloading, we will go back to the Reddit page and we will get. I will also show you how to install the sprite animated pack and the GUI pack. So we'll also download those, the battlers.zip. And this is the black and white menu. This isn't necessity, but it is kind of an aesthetic thing. So we'll also grab that. So as all that downloads, I'll see you guys back in just a second. Alrighty, we are back. I'm waiting for the Battlers 2 finish downloading, but while we do that, these are the files you will currently have. You will have the Omicron 1.3.27 zip and the black and white menus work in progress zip. I am using WinRAR because they are they are zip archives though, so you can use other programs, but I personally use WinRAR. All right, we're going to open this file now. You will see in here the Mac OS and the Omicron 1.3.27. We will take the 1.3.27 and drag it and drop it to the location you want. This is the entire game. If you get core downloads from the website, if you get core downloads, these here, then you do not have to patch the game. As it says here, the cores are full downloads up to date and uploading. This is the patch come out when they are here posted here. Meanwhile, if you want a new copy of the game, you could download 1.3.25 here the updated version but using the patch. I just get cores because I know cores are fully up to date all the time. You don't have to worry about patching it yourself. So we are going to say yes to all. And it's going to finish moving our 1.3.27. There is the game. And I will show you that it works by running it. And as you see, it's very loud, but it does work. I do not have an Omicron save file, so of course, oh, while I'm at it here, I'll show you how to install the fonts for Win8, anyways. But as you see, the game does work. No problemo, everything is all working. To install the fonts, you go into this font folder, you take them all and you right click them and hit install. It will say that some settings are already installed and then reinstall them. And with that out of the way, now if you bring up the game, you will not get that error about the fonts. See? Now I have the fonts installed. This is all done on Win 8. I cannot show you how to do it on... Win 7 is the same. See all the new frames. Screen size, huge. That's just how I play it. And insane, because again, that is just how I play it save files, which are multiple save files that store different settings. Oh, right. Now, if I am correct, oh, the Battler Zip is done. So I'm going to come here into my downloads folder, grab the Battler Zip. I'm going to copy it, not copy, damn it, copy it into where my, into this example folder that I created. Alrighty. We are going to now, I'm going to show you how to install the battle menu we are going to take this picture folder here and drag it and drop it outside of Omicron or Zeta. And now we are going to copy these pictures or cut, depending what you want to do. I copy and put it into graphics pictures. And now you can paste them in here, overriding the old ones. That is for the black and white menu bars 
And for the Battlers, you're going to take the Battlers folder and again drag and drop it outside of Zeta just to make sure you don't have any problems. It's then going to unzip it. Da da da, blah blah blah. It's going to take a little bit. You're going to then come into the Battlers file, file, copy, go into graphics, Battlers, and paste it overriding all the old ones. Actually, it, may, it should just add the new ones because they're all new. So there shouldn't be very much overriding or any overriding. Oh, there they are. There's the overriding. And now you have animated sprites as well. So with that out of the way, we can now play the game. Again, I will show you that the game works. See, the game does work. Again, I will adjust it to huge for my settings. And I will show you a new game to show you that all the animated sprites work. Actually, this won't tell me anything. If I don't in the same speed, it should take too long. But while we're on the topic of your game's creativity, if I actually this may be fixed. If you hit, well, go back into the game. If you hit, I think it's F1, I think the gamepad works now. I'm not entirely sure. How I use it is I get a program, it's called Anti-Macro. It is this program right here. I will possibly post where to get this. If you have a pad, you can define the keys to your macro to your keyboard. So you can then play it with a keyboard or with a controller. That is how I use a controller as well. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.